Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have a short list of some Zero to Hero 9.8 comics that are exploding in value. And yeah, these ones have absolutely come a long way in the last few years, for sure. Alright, let's have a look. First one is a Wolverine 88. First fight between Deadpool and Wolverine on this one with a, a really awesome uh, Adam Kubert cover from the mid-90s. A pretty overlooked by some collectors, I would say. This one... You know, when I started the channel kind of two to three years ago, this was one of my favorite underfollowed 9.8s to, to recommend. And uh, over the years, I've been able to grab three of them. And it's a really good candidate, I would say, for a zero to hero 9.8 comic for sure. Uh, so grab three of them, as I said. One of them was $60. Another one was $99.99. And another one I, I grabbed uh, in 2020, it was. Uh, the, two, the first two were in 2019. In 2020, I uh, heated up a little bit, and it was a 150 about, right around 150 was uh, the third one I had purchased. So recent sales on Wolverine 88 in a 9.8 Deluxe Edition, $399 and $369.99. So this one's a little bit on the cool down. There were a few sales for this one over $500, um, you know, about a year ago when the comic book market was admittedly pretty hot during that time. Uh, cooling down just a little bit, right around $400 now. I think that one uh, sale there, $369.99, is kind of a price target to aim for if you're a big uh, Deadpool Wolverine fan. This is a pretty cool key issue to consider. And yeah, definitely going from zero to hero, I think, like, grabbed one of mine for 60 bucks. It was super underfollowed then. Now they're about 400 and have a pretty wide, you know, collector base for sure for this uh, comic. Uh, on the census really quick, 146, 9.8s. That is in the deluxe edition. They do separate the deluxe edition from the normal edition on the census. Uh, however, you notice this one, uh, this is a deluxe edition Wolverine 88, but it doesn't say it on the CGC case. So this is an older graded Wolverine 88 where they didn't start to separate the deluxe from the normal edition on the census yet. Uh, they did that about two years ago, so now the deluxe edition is separated on the census. There's 146 in the 9.8. Consider the normal edition if you're kind of really serious and you want a tougher to find version of this one. And yeah, 24.3% the 9.8 ratio on a Wolverine 88. So pulling back in price, I think a Wolverine 88 is kind of one that y you can think about grabbing right now if you're a big Deadpool and Wolverine fan, for sure. Uh, next one is a Young Avengers number one. Yeah, this one in a 9.8, I've absolutely just been wrong about this one. It's just continually uh, climbed up and uh, all the rumors sort of happened and came true. And Because <laughs> uh, I do remember a Young Avengers number one in a 9.8 for like 200 bucks, 250 bucks in a CGC 9.8 in 2019. Uh, recent sales for Young Avengers number one in a 9.8, $843. Uh, this was in an auction. This one's cooling down a little bit. If you uh, just go on eBay, doing a little research this morning for some completed listings on this one, going back to December, they were sort of selling for like 1,050, 1,100. I think they even got a little bit higher than that, sort of leading into um, the uh, Hawkeye show on Disney+. Plus. I really recommended in the last six months to really just, you know, hands off on this one. The Disney Plus show is out. The hype is at its peak right now. Really going to be tough to get a deal on a Young Avengers number one. Uh, now, you know, the show's kind of over. Price is already cooling down. You kind of, you know, you would have saved 200 bucks um, getting this one at $843 now. A few months ago going, yeah, a little over $1,000 on a Young Avengers number one. And uh, yeah, a good zero to hero candidate. I think they were about 200. Now they're almost 1,000. Uh, and at one point, over 1,000 for sure. 1,697 9.8s in a blue label on the census. And 46% is the 9.8 ratio. So you know what? It, I mean, if you're the biggest Young Avengers fan, you can maybe go after this one. But, you know, 46% 9.8 ratio, not even that tough in a 9.8. This is one I just wouldn't pay up for. I could almost see it cooling down a little bit more unless some some other kind of Hawkeye, you know, Young Avengers type of content comes out, which I don't think is, is going to be happening for a few years, for sure. Uh, so I kind of see Young Avengers number one cooling down even a little bit more. I probably wouldn't get in there, you know, maybe around $700 if you really wanted this one. You could start thinking about grabbing this one in a 9.8. Okay, next one is a Marvel Comics Presents 72 Origin of Wolverine on this one. Uh, I've talked off and on about uh, a Marvel Comics Presents 72 in a 9.8 that I missed out on. Uh, this would have been about three years ago now. Trying to get it right around $100. Ended up going for like $110. Bucks. Uh, so that was probably about two, three years ago. 
And uh, recent sales for a Marvel Comics presents 72 and a 9.8, $381.66 and a $390.83. So kind of, you know, uh, $100 to about $400. This one had been higher uh, just in the recent, you know, uh, past few months. Most of these had been selling a little bit over 400. Now they seem to be selling a little bit under 400. Uh, and if you, again, if you go back kind of six to 12 months, the comic book market was a little bit hotter. These were around $500. So they kind of went from a hundred to 500. Now a little bit on the pullback and yeah, you know, this is origin of Wolverine. Um, if you're in the market for some Wolverine key issues, this one should probably be on your short list for sure. And, uh, under 400. Yeah. Looking like pretty solid value right now. Uh, 884 9.8s in a blue label and 31.9% is a 9.8 ratio for uh, Marvel Comics Presents 72 Origin of Wolverine. Okay, next one I think is probably one of the better moderns to buy right now. It's just sort of occurring to me that I think this one's in a really good spot right now. A uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 51. Uh, so first appearance of Jenica on this one. A good candidate as a zero to hero, 9.8. I have three of these in a 9.8 as well. Similar to kind of that... Um, uh, Wolverine 88 book. I purchased one of mine. It was like maybe 65 or 70 bucks. Another one was 99.99 and another one was like 120. Uh, and these were all kind of before this book really, you know, started to heat up. And uh, recent sales on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 51, $402 and $475. This one seems to be actually heating up in the past six or so months. Whereas, you know, I remember a few sales going there for kind of 275 to 300. Uh, again, about six months ago, and now uh, 402 and 475, kind of the most recent sales that I'm seeing. And you know what? I feel like this one is making a lot of sense. And from kind of, you know, two ways I was thinking about it. The first one is first appearance of Jenica, you know, the fifth Ninja Turtle. That's a huge first appearance, I think. Absolutely. But the second thing I think is that uh, this one's pretty limited. It's a limited printed one. And it, it reminds me of a Star Wars, The Clone Wars number one, sort of before that one really just exploded and took off. Uh, if we have a look on the census for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51, 208 9.8s in a blue label, 65.4% is a 9.8 ratio. So a one of 208 for a huge first appearance. Um, I think uh, that's really low. This is an IDW comic book. It's going to be lower printed than a Marvel or a DC comic book of this period for sure. Very similar to how Clone Wars number one is a dark horse comic book. It's you know pretty low printed compared to a Marvel or DC key issue, and you know that one's selling for like two thousand eight hundred dollars in a nine point eight right now. So and and we'll go over Clone Wars one. That's the next book we're going to talk about. That one is absolutely a zero to hero one. Uh, but I have a feeling this is kind of like Clone Wars before you know it was known that the Ahsoka show was going to come out and everything. Because Clone Wars number one, I remember when it was like. 275 like 325 as just a really cool kind of under followed uh big star wars first appearance to collect and then it was like the ahsoka show's coming exploded to like 2000 bucks overnight pretty much and since they're a little lower printed there's not like thousands of them on the census like a marvel book the upside's a little bit higher for these ones i think so i think a teenage mutant ninja turtles 51 if you can grab it under 400 dollars, that would be a, a pretty phenomenal buy right now um yeah, and just with those limited numbers, I think it's got a chance to uh, be similar to that uh, Clone Wars number one book. And uh, I actually, for a Turtles book, another kind of zero to hero one, but I've talked about it recently, is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one. That one in the 9.8 was, you know, in 2019, it was like 125 bucks, 150 bucks. And right now they're about $1,000 in a 9.8. So that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one was another one I wanted to talk about. Just kind of do a two for one on this one. Okay, last one. A Star Wars Clone Wars number one. Yeah, a really great kind of zero to hero 9.8 comic that's exploded in value. Absolutely. Um, this one, I remember them kind of being like 275 bucks, you know, a little bit over 300 maybe. And I do remember at that time, like, yeah, you know what, like a big kind of Clone Wars first appearance of a hero. It's a Dark Horse comic, so it's not going to be heavily printed. And I should have kind of took my own advice at that time. This is one I do not have. But yeah, they were about 300 Recent sales, $2,800, $2,599. And that Ahsoka show is, is kind of, you know, going to be coming out pretty soon in the next uh, kind of 6 to 12 months, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, a tough one to kind of say, you know, maybe get in there right now, but I think it, it's a really good compare to just 
see this one, I think this is what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51 is kind of the ultimate potential of that one, is this Star Wars Clone Wars number one. Like say, you know, uh, in six months they announced a Ninja Turtle movie and there's going to be five Ninja Turtles. Like they're going to have Jenica as the girl Ninja Turtle in the movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51 is looking a lot like Clone Wars is right now, in my opinion. Uh, so on the census, 377 9.8s in a blue label for Clone Wars number one. There's 208 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51. Uh, so again, like, you know, just not a lot of 9.8s there. Uh, not a lot of supply. So if the demand ever boosts up in any way, like with the Ahsoka show, I think the prices could look a lot like Clone Wars on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51 if that happens. Uh, Clone Wars, 36.5% is the 9.8 ratio. So it does have a lower 9.8 ratio than a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51. So maybe it won't quite get up to like 2,800, but uh, even half of that you'd be happy with on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51. But uh, Star Wars Clone Wars number one is absolutely a zero to hero 9.8, uh, you know, worth talking about. All right, a couple quick bonuses because they're kind of obvious and I sort of talk about them quite a bit. Ultimate Follow 4. Yeah, this is one I looked at my purchase price and it was uh, $360. I purchased this one in 2019. Now they're like $3,300 was a recent sale I just saw in the last few days on an Ultimate Follow 4 in the first print. Definitely zero to hero. Uh, Edge of Spider-Verse 2. Yeah, kind of obvious on this one as well. When I purchased my Ultimate Follow 4 for, you know, $360, the Edge of Spider-Verse 2s were like $275 to $300, you know, maybe a little bit into the $300 range. Uh, now that one's $1,809.8, $1,900 if you recent sales. So that's just a, a solid zero to hero one for sure. And uh, Invincible Iron Man number nine, first full appearance of Riri Williams. Uh, I do remember this one like right around 200. Maybe if you got super lucky there in 2019, it was a little bit under 200 even. But kind of 200 to 225, I absolutely remember this one as... And I, I was thinking at the time, I'm like, you know, um, what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. probably can't be the Iron Man for very much longer, right? And he was so good at it, so iconic. Like, I think it's a, a good idea that they would bring in the lady um, Iron Man because, uh, you know, they don't have to... It, he, she wouldn't have to kind of walk in Robert Downey Jr.'s footsteps and kind of be compared to him the whole time. And that's pretty much what happened. I should have took my own advice. Yeah, when this one was a, a little over 200. Now, yeah, I think they're about seven to eight hundred dollars so that's a decent you know zero to hero 9.8 for sure all right team uh yeah good to just go through a couple 9.8s that have exploded and yeah a lot of times like the obvious ones that are just going up in value are are the ones that are probably you know really solid investments and most of these are i would say with you know maybe that young avengers number one you might want to be a little patient on but uh all right team we'll leave it at that thanks so much for watching i'll see you on the next one if you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future videos.